Well, I might have fact some Mars. And I've been wanting to do this video for some time. Not for this sp specific story, but uh, just in general. Here we have scientists once again saying that your cell phone causes cancer. Suppose to those microwaves, that's uh, just too much and it's going to cook your brain blah 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 well I have a few things to say about that remember this is all common sense that I'm using I'm not saying you're refuting a research or anything but let's just use a little common sense so <clears throat> Why is it that Artifacts of Mars is sitting there saying these people are all wet about this? Uh, even as the page is all froze up, so I can't really scroll down on this. They did research on rats, and they exposed them to radio frequency radiation that comes from cell phones. For about nine hours a day, who the hell sit, spends that much time on a phone for seven days a week? And they sit there and they blasted the rats with this radiation, and then they wonder why they come up with cancer. Now, it's a why what artifacts of Mars say is BS. Well, it's very simple. You are blasted with radio waves, much like the ones that you get from your cell phone, all day long. Now, how do I know this? For that matter, all night long. How do I know this, so? Well, uh, take a look up in that sky when it's blue, and look at that bright thing up in the sky. That's called the sun. Duh! You see, these scientists, I can't figure that out. That big bright object up in the sky is a radio source. A major radio source, folks. You're getting bombarded uh, by its rays. If it's daylight. But even if it isn't, you're still getting bombarded by uh, radio waves at night, too. Between all the cell towers and stuff. But I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about natural radiation from the stars. Well, duh, you ever turn on your radio and you're between stations and you hear a hissing sound? That's coming from the stars. It's a known fact. There's a reason you hear that hissing sound. If you had an old style TV, you might see that snow, for lack of a better term. You're in between stations and... It looks like snow and it sounds like static. Well, that's radio waves from the stars. And there ain't nowhere to hide unless you want to go 10 miles on the ground or you want to. You can build yourself a big tinfoil room, I suppose. And then you'd be uh, protected from it. I hardly think it would be worth it, but you could do it. And that's the whole point here. These people getting uh, the public tied up in knots for no reason. Now, you want proof that 
the uh, sun is a big radio source and uh, it's uh, swamping you with radio waves very well. I can provide that proof very easily. Uh, here it is. Turn on AM radio during the day and then compare it to what you hear at night. At night, you can hear signals from a lot further away, now can't you? See, in the daytime, the sun gives off so many, ra so much in the way of radio and TV waves and such. Oops, did our facts of Mars say TV waves? Duh. Yeah. At any rate, it gives off so much of this that it can... It just drowns everything out, so you can only get the more, uh, the close stations, which are more powerful, and your radio can pick them up. And at night, without the sun there, they're a little, uh, e it's a little easier for you to get signals from around the world. So, I don't listen to these people. They have an agenda. They hate freedom. They hate representative government for the most part. They're saying, uh, this is calling a malignant tumor called gl a malignant gliomas, a tumor of the glial cells in the brain and tumors in the heart. It's a bunch of hogwash. You're getting bombarded by radio waves every day of the week. No real way to escape it. The sun is very, very powerful. It's a very powerful radio source. Right, so all your proof you need is right with your uh, Average AM radio. If anybody listens to that anymore. So I hope that puts this to bed. Don't pay any attention to these idiots. This is what I'd say. And they keep telling you, oh, this is bad for you, that's bad for you, something else is bad for you. Screw them. That's the way I see it. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.